Welcome to the first edition of Tales from the Throne. And the reason I have entitled it that is because I'm actually sitting in one of the many thrones I have, and I am going to be telling stories. I guess if I was on my sofa, I would call it Chronicles from the Couch. Anyway, first and foremost, I want to tell everyone out there that follows myself and my lovely wife, Rebby Sky, on social media, thank you. Thank you for all the congratulations. Uh, we're both very excited to be having our first child, and uh, we're also very excited that it's a baby boy. That's right! Another hearty boy is entering the world. It was the best Christmas present that either one of us could get. We were so ecstatic and so happy it was a boy. And right now we're in the midst of choosing a name. And I'm telling you, this is a this is a been a complex, tough, uh, really gritty decision. We're working real hard on it. We haven't got there yet, but we will. And uh, we appreciate all your contributions and suggestions. Anyway, since it's the holiday season, I thought I would say first and foremost, I want to wish each and every one of you happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, New Year's Eve is right around the corner. I hope you guys have a nice New Year's Eve. And considering we're starting 2015, it's like everyone turns over a new leaf. Everyone starts with a New Year's resolution. And, and one thing I was going to say is just try and be realistic in the New Year's resolution you set. In the past, I, uh, I am guilty myself of uh, setting the bar a little too high in what you want to do. But just try and set something that's realistic and take it from there and try and do something you can follow through with. Don't do something that you're going to stick with for two or three weeks and then drop. So uh, good luck with that, and I hope everyone has a great 2015 New Year's Eve. Speaking of the holiday season, and speaking of wishing family and friends happy holidays, uh, I've got a ton of text messages, and, and sometimes I return texts, sometimes I don't. Uh, I, I'm very blessed to have a lot of family and a lot of friends and a lot of people I interact with, and, and one thing that always trips me out now whenever it's the holiday season is getting a, a blanket text message or like a mass text message, and that's something I haven't done for a long, long time now, and I'll tell you why, and it's a, a funny story. The person I give credit to stopping me from doing blanket text messages or mass text messages is, is Chris Benoit, of all people. I remember I was texting everyone that I worked with at WWE at the time, and I had told everyone, like, uh, I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. I look forward to seeing you at work on Friday, whatever. And uh, Chris Benoit actually texted me back immediately five minutes later and said, Merry Christmas to you, Matt. Please tell your brother Jeff that I said Merry Christmas as well. I also hope that you, your brother Jeff, and your dad, the legend, have a great Happy New Year's. I'll see you at work this weekend, Matt. Tell Jeff I said hi. I mean, he called my name out like four or five times in that message. He called out my brother by name, and he actually called out my dad's nickname. So it was one of those things I said, I think this guy's actually calling me out. But it, it's something that's always stuck with me, and it's something that I remember to this day, and I, I never send those blanket text messages. I always personalize them. I make them seem meaningful. So I, I learned something. Another thing that I remember from Chris Benoit is uh, from a match that we had, and I was going to uh, swing, and he was going to duck a clothesline, and he was going to swing a clothesline at me. And I was going to actually catch him with a side effect. And he told me, he said, Matt, make sure if I swing that clothesline, if you're going to side effect me, make sure that you duck. I said, oh, oh yeah, okay, I'll duck. And then he said, because if you don't, I'll break your nose. Just stone cold like that too. And it's always reminded me as well to swing your clotheslines level. Uh -huh. Don't throw those uh, rainbow clotheslines. Anyway, speaking of wrestling, by the way, I'm excited to be returning to New York City. I'll be there with Impact Wrestling on January 7th, 8th, and 9th. And it was just announced tonight that on January 8th, uh, besides myself and Jeff taking part in the live special that's going to air on the 7th, on January the 8th, myself and Jeff, the Hardy Boys, are going to be having a huge rematch with the Wolves, Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. And that's going to be hot. It's going to be exciting. Love coming to New York City, and I love the passion and energy of that crowd. Look forward to seeing you there. If you don't have your tickets, get them now. Impact Wrestling, January 7th, 8th, and 9th. And with all that said, I heard that Edge and Christian are on Raw tonight, and they've been mentioning the Hardy Boys. Apparently, uh, the Rivalry Series is going to be on tonight after Raw on the WWE Network, featuring Edge and Christian versus the Hardy Boys, one of the greatest tag team rivalries in the history of the business. So if you get a chance, check that out. But one thing I can say, 22 years later, the Hardys, we're still up, and we're still running hard, and we're still kicking ass. Edge and Christian, you know, they're injured, they're hurt, but the Hardys have longevity. If there's one thing Hardy means... It basically means invincible. I'll see you next time. This is going to be a uh, regular segment that I do here on my YouTube channel. And, and you know what? Also, it's the Christmas season, and it's time to give and, and think about others. So I'm going to donate some money to charity. 
however many views this video has in the next 24 hours, I'm going to take that number of views, I'm going to slide over the decimal point two places for uh, to make proper change, and I'm going to donate that amount of money to charity. How about I'll donate that to the American Cancer Society? It's the, the season of giving, so let's all give, and we'll see you here next time on Tales from the Throne.